All right, my friends, how are you today? Aaron, you're bringing your daily horoscope for Friday. Happy freaking Friday, the 19th, 20th, <laughs> it's the 20th of August, 2021. We've got the moon moving into the sign of Aquarius. We're getting ready for this big Aquarius full moon happening. Okay, not today, though. We got some work to do before this full moon happens. So we've got the moon moving into the sign of Aquarius, emotional need to connect with the community, understanding, right? Aquarius is the water within the air that allows electricity to flow. It's one of my favorite ways of looking at the sign of Aquarius. Beside that, you know, it, it's a good way to look at that is understanding the community and how information and knowledge travels. Air signs are about knowledge, air signs are about information, air signs are about communication insight, whether that is um, an angel, right, means messenger of God, L, anything L means of God. And there, there's no difference between uh, a physical angel or a, a mythical angel or a, an insight, you know, a, a message from spirit versus a physical message. Angel just means messenger, right? Messenger. Anyway, something that's been kind of uh, misconstrued over the times. And we have this grand air trine kite happening today, okay? We've got Venus here at five degrees, the sign of Libra. Venus is home in Libra. This is about valuing and appreciating other people in our lives, no matter what. Uh, sometimes people come into our lives in a wonderful time. Sometimes people exit our lives and it can be very difficult. Sometimes later down the road when we can look back and we say, wow, it was a really beautiful experience, both coming in and both exiting, whatever it may be. Um, sometimes people come back around. Sometimes we value different things. And I've talked about this before in this channel. I used to value, you know, a Lamborghini. Now I could never buy a Lamborghini if somebody gave me $300,000. I just couldn't do it. You know, so Venus is what you love, you value, you desire. Uh, and here in the sign of Libra, justice, balance. This is a balancing out between myself and my relationship with the other. Then we have the moon here my emotional need to connect with other people. I am one of the individual pieces of, or, or bits of water in the air that allows this electricity to flow. I am one of the individuals, you are one of the individuals that allows this communication, information, and knowledge to pass by all these people. And then we have the North Node here down in Gemini at six degrees. So this is a really cool air trine, going from this grand earth trine to this air trine, you know, practical energy to insight. And not only is it practical to insight, North Node here, you know, we've been talking about the North Node here for almost a year and a half in the sign of Gemini, seeking knowledge, seeking information, seeking uh, something that's different from a narrative or a path that we have chosen. It's important for us to start to look at the opposite, you know, whatever that may be. Why does somebody have a different point of view? It's a very valid, you know, uh, you know, it's just like the omnivore dilemma versus not, maybe not even verse, you know, there's, there's a reason why, you know, the, these individuals over here want to practice this. And there's individuals over here that want to practice this. And, you know, this might say you're wrong or you're wrong. And my way is the right way. It's like, no, no, no. These are just different ways for human beings to live on this planet. Something else we talked about many times is this, as the North node is here in Gemini is that, that Einstein particle wave theory. Sometimes we have to take somebody else's perspective we really have to consider it as the truth before we can see, before it becomes illuminated in our eyes. You know, it's just like, okay, so now we know that the, the basis of this, you know, if you don't know what I'm talking about, the Einstein particle wave theory, you know, something I've talked about on the channel, but you can look it up. It's like looking down the microscope and me only seeing my perspective. Then you offer me your perspective and I have to take your perspective and look through the microscope with your perspective to be able to see the outcome that you see. And unless I put myself in your shoes, unless I put myself in that willingness and that saying, yes, this is what I'm seeing, this is what I'm going after, uh, and, and taking that objective point of view, we'll, we'll, we kind of never get it. So there's, there's pressure. There's pressure. Saturn is involved today here in, in the sign of Aquarius, where the moon is making this trine. There's pressure involved in making sure that we are doing the work. There's pressure involved in making sure that we are, in fact, seeking, that we are being compassion as well. The moon's all about compassion, you know, ruling sign of cancer here. And with Venus, it's about love and desires and, and compassion and communication. This is with other. We have to be, you know, we might not have understood where somebody is at 
why do you want to practice this religion? Why do you want to practice this concept of life? Why do you want to pra- why why do you love this? Love that, whatever it may be. You know, we have to put ourselves in their shoes and not say why, but just look at it and say, okay, I can see why you love or appreciate this or value this or whatever it may be. And furthermore, because this is not just a grand air trine, but a kite formation, meaning Saturn and the moon and Venus here are are all sextile to the south node in Sagittarius, which is the release the letting go. You know, it's like we have two things, you know, uh, alleviates pressure, Uranus. Uranus here in Taurus, changing things up almost halfway through, but not quite. Um, Entered, I think, March of 2018. Last time it was here was 1984, 1964, 1964. It's a long time ago, Uranus. We were dealing with rations, Great Depression during this time. Um, do I have my dates right? 64? 1943? I don't know. Now I'm, now I'm all screwed up. Anyway, it doesn't matter. 84 years it takes for this thing to go around the sun. Breaking tradition. We're breaking tradition. We're doing something differently. And we have to be willing to let go of an old perspective. We have to be willing to let go of what, you know, it, th- this is other stuff that we've talked about before, about having an, an emotional attachment to belief. Where the moon here is saying, think radically. <laughs> Aquarius and Uranus, the planet that's associated with Aquarius, is radical. It is, it, you know, it's like it doesn't, it's not linear. It's not, it's gonna, it's not gonna go up and then take a square. And you know, it's like this is a rhombus in geometry. You know, what I mean, it's like this is this is not a normal shape. This is not a normal way about going about things. This is not a normal way about learning. This is not a normal or traditional way of of viewing the past. You know, we have to be willing to, one, put ourselves in those other people's perspective, uh, other people's shoes to gain their perspective. We have to be willing to let go of and say, I could be wrong about everything. I could be wrong about absolutely everything. So then now it's time to discover. And instead of having a belief, instead of holding on to something, holding on to an idea, we can be loose. I think Terrence McKenna was talking about that in a really lovely way. He's like, well, I didn't really hold on to an idea of a religion or hold on to an idea of this particular belief, but just allowed things to flow. You know, and that's kind of what the moon's energy is, is flowy energy. So allowing things to flow. And all of this, again, fulcrum back, the, the point of this kite, where the kite is headed, is saying release, let go. Let go of holding on to the attachments and the beliefs of religious ideologies. And that's a big one. And it's, it's like, it's something I can't talk about enough. I can't. I can't talk about that enough. And the times where we're at and what's going on in the world and where people are, uh, we have to be willing to dig into the concepts of religion. We have to be willing to dig into philosophies. We have to be willing to dig and look at some of the old teachings that are still practiced today and recognizing that we kind of have to pull that thread. We have to be able to, to, to see what's underneath the foundation. Uh, go about it and seek ourselves. Anyway. That's, that's a good chunk of our day uh, <laughs> leading into this full moon. And again, we, we have to. We, we have to. There, there's going to be another thing. Let me see. We just about get there. No, we don't quite get there. But we're going to start to square the moon here. We'll, we'll get this. My friends down in Australia, you're going to feel this. We're gonna, the moon's going to start to square Uranus. Where it's like if we don't start thinking outside the box, if we don't start thinking outside the rectangle or doing something differently, and we think, you know, we can... Uh, I don't know why this is just what's coming into my mind right now. It's like working at this, you know, like my parents when I was younger, they're like, you know, Aaron, you just go and you get a job working for one of the companies, you know, like the big corporate companies. And then you're put in your 40 years and you're retired. It's like, yeah, that's not reality. That might have been reality, you know when you were alive you're for your time mean, they're alive but your your time you know this is again this is release letting go of knowledge letting go of information of the past south node connection you know it's just like yeah sorry mom and dad that that time is long gone right now and and with uranus and taurus here with saturn and aquarius it's like we need free thinkers now that's not what the world is trying to create the world is not trying to create free thinkers right now the world is trying to create people that are in line you know and the universe Cosmically, astrologically, these giant balls in the sky, for whatever reason that our ancestors had labeled what all of these things are through years and years as old science, 
This is saying, no, we don't need cows that run in, you know, that are in ruts. We don't need ants that follow a line. We don't need, you know, just, just everybody's going the same way. We need free thinkers. We need people who are individuals. And we're going to talk about this more uh, for this full moon video here. Okay, I'm going to put that out uh, sometime in the next couple hours or tomorrow. Um, but this is really important to let let go of this this idea of how things could have been, you know, if it was only that way still. And it's just like really looking, it's just like, well, this is how it is. How do I survive now? How do I break through now? How do I break free now? And that's what the Aquarian energy is all about. It's the release. Capricorn, pressure. Aquarius, release. Connection with the community. Breakthrough, radical concepts, radical ideas, uh, radical philosophies which challenges traditional philosophies. And we must be willing to, to challenge those philosophies and seek the truth ourselves. It's our day. My friends, have a beautiful day leading up to this full moon. Lots to talk about in the days to come. I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>